Okay, second through fourth grade, we're going to go ahead and begin our lesson off with Song and Dance Band Part 2. It is by Karen Ackerman and illustrated by Stephen Gamel. So Stephen Gamel does all the artwork. All right, I'll go ahead and stop at any places that I think we might need to know. And I'll also point out our new vocabulary word as we go. All right, let's get to it. The song and dance man begins to dance the old soft shoe, which is a dance move. His feet move slowly at first, while his tap shoes make soft, slippery sounds like rain on a tin roof. We forget that it's Grandpa dancing, and all we can hear is a silvery tap of two feet, and all we can see is a song and dance man gliding across the vaudeville stage. All right, there it is, our second vocabulary word. I wanted to point out the word, oops, glide. And I wanted to let you know that glide means um, it's something that you do. It's when you move smoothly, and it's something that doesn't take a lot of effort. Like when you run, sometimes you sweat and you get all out of breath. That's not like gliding at all. Gliding is something that you don't put a lot of effort into. So sort of when maybe you see a bird outside in the air, we like to say that they glide because it looks like they're doing it without any effort at all. Gliding. He says, watch this, and does a new step that sounds like a woodpecker tapping on a tree. Suddenly his shoes move faster and he begins to sing. His voice is as round and strong as a canyon echo. And his cheeks get as rosy as he sings, Yankee Doodle Boy, a song he knows from the good old days. There are too many dance steps and too many words in the song for us to remember. But the show that Grandpa puts on is better than any show on TV. The song and dance man stops and leans forward with a wink. What's that in your ear, he asks. And he pulls a silver dollar out of somebody's hair. Remember, a silver dollar is a coin that they might have had back in the good old days. Uh, it's about this big. And a little bigger than a quarter, except for it's worth a whole do dollar, whereas a quarter is only worth 25 cents. Um, we still have dollar coins, except for they're a little smaller now, and they're gold. He rolls his bowler hat down his arm, catches it in his hand, and flips it back up in, onto his head. Short and round bowler hat. Know how to make an elephant float? He asks. One scoop of ice cream, two squirts of soda, and three scoops of elephant. We've heard that joke before, but the song and dance man slaps his knee and laughs until his eyes water. He tries to wipe them with a red hanky from his vest, but the hanky just gets longer and longer, kind of like a magician. As he pulls it out, he looks so surprised that we start laughing too, and it feels like the whole attic is shaking. Sometimes we laugh so hard, the hiccups start, and then Grandpa stops to bring us a glass of water from the bathroom. Drink slow and hold your breath, he says, or I'll have to scare you. Once our hiccups are gone, he gets a gold-tipped cane and a black silk top hat from the trunk. See, top hats are very tall. And they're kind of square, so the opposite of a bowler hat. He lowers his eyes and tips the hat, and he's standing very still. All the lights are turned low except one that shines on his polished tap shoes, the spotlight. It's the grand finale, the very last event. So the song and dance man takes a deep breath. He lifts the cane and holds it in both hands. Slowly he starts to tap. His shoes move faster and faster, and the sounds coming from them are too many to make with only two feet. He spins and jumps into the air, touching the stage again. He kneels with his arms spread out, and the silk top hat and gold-tipped cane lie by his side at his feet. His shoes are still, and the show is over. We stand up together and clap our hands, shouting, Hooray! And more! More! But Grandpa only smiles and shakes his head, all out of breath. He takes off his tap shoes, wraps them gently in the chamois cloth, and puts them back into the leather-trimmed trunk. 
He carefully folds his vest and lays the top hat and cane on it, and we follow him to the stairway. Grandpa holds on to the rail as we go down the steps. The steep steps right there. At the bottom, he hugs us, and we tell him that we wish we could have seen him dance in the good old days. The song and dance days. He smiles and whispers that he wouldn't trade a million good old days for the days that he spends with us. But as he turns off the attic light, which is upstairs in the house, Grandpa glances back up the stairs, and we wonder how much he really misses that time on the vaudeville stage when he was a song and dance man. All right, that is the end of part two today. Make sure that you look for our vocabulary assignment in week six under the Wednesday folder. Thanks for joining me today. See you guys later.